is Munar in Kerala, south of India. Munar, a green Indian paradise filled with rolling tea plantation hills, feels surreal to see with your own eyes. In my last video I have started exploring this stunning place in India, but now it is time to visit the top spots in Munar that you won't believe are real. Hi! If we don't know each other yet, I'm Rita and at the moment I'm traveling through the beautiful country of India, exploring sites, cities and sharing all my impressions and best recommendations here with you. Today is a new day here in Munar and we decided to book a tour with a guide and our first stop of the day is a flower garden. The entry to the flower garden was 50 rupees per person so very affordable. However, after being there for a couple of moments I quickly realized that it is pretty, it's beautiful, there are lots and lots of flowers here but to be honest I still prefer the view, some viewpoint or vista point, anything where you can see the tea. It's hot, I got an ice cream and more specifically a coffee on a stick. This is something that we already had on the food tour in Delhi. Mumbai. Mumbai? Mumbai. Mm. So yummy. It's like eating an ice cream with Indian flavors. That place was cute, but we are off to the next one. Let's go. Our next stop is a dumb viewpoint. But what I find even more impressive here is the water around me, like it's a huge lake and it gives you the vibes of like being in a different place while you're still in Mora. We're gonna cross the beach, we're gonna continue driving and we'll continue seeing the tea plantations, but this just gives you a little bit of a different view. As I was recording the video over there, there was actually a fence and I thought it's gonna be all the way, but when you go a bit further, you're gonna have unobstructed views here of the lake, which is much better. Just next to the dam is a little bit of a food market area and we are enjoying it with lots of cows around us. Is there a better spot for a snack than here? We found even more unobstructed lake views. It looks so beautiful, the water is so crystal clear blue. Look at the traffic here, like the bus is passing by on a millimeter. I've never seen such a skilled drivers like here. <laughs> It is time to continue to the next spot of the day, but the ride itself is luckily not boring either. Everything is green and lush around us and driving through the tea plantations all day long is really like a dream come true. As we are driving on our tour today, we can stop in lots of vista points, which for me is always a highlight on any road trip. And look at the point where we are now. There is a lake, there is nature and tea fields, and it's so peaceful. Time for a fresh coconut refresher. How much is one? Per 50 You're professional. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, it's cold, it's nice. Okay, so our next destination for the day is the Echo Point and as the name says, there is supposed to be an echo if you scream. Either way, it looks so beautiful here. You're on this little bit of sand. I wish I had a picnic blanket with me. They're doing a test. I'm going to test now. Test. Test! <laughs> they make it better than me. It works. <laughs> test! Test. <laughs> <laughs> we need to scream really loud basically. Test! The second part of the coconut. We drank it, now we are cutting to eat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ooh, it's hard. Okay. Rita loves coconut. <laughs> Our new slogan. It's very uh, mushy, gluey. Mm. I've seen better coconuts in my life, taste wise, but still super cool. <laughs> Look, I made a little spoon here. <laughs> okay, enough of the coconuts. Let's get back to this view. This is our view all around as we drive through Monar and it is really so insanely beautiful. It feels like a fairy tale. One of the spots that we passed by today have a little shopping area next to them where you can get small refreshments, 
some coconuts and toys if you want to. Next stop of the day is the Kundala Lake right here next to me and there is also a dump. But to be honest, the true highlight of this place are the monkeys that are gonna sit on the bridge and wait for your food. Like we had an apple and then they saw it immediately, they caught our attention and we had to throw the apple to them because we didn't know what to do. Basically, if you have food on you, they can come and they can jump on you, they can grab it from you. So it's just safer to let it go. But once they know you have food, they're gonna target you more and more. It's almost lunchtime, we're hungry. And actually we have some leftover from our dinner last night because the portions were huge and we have no none. So we're gonna try to see if we can go to the restaurant and order just some none and then do a little picnic here on the lake. No luck for us on the none search. The restaurant is closed. That would have been nice now, some fresh none with the lake view. If you don't have a lunch with you, there are lots of options available on the site as well. The covers of our containers are actually recycled things from other countries. This is Russian. Open up, let's see what we have here. Here we already have our rice from yesterday. Ah, that's just the pickles, okay. That's our lunch situation. We have our leftovers from yesterday. No gun, unfortunately, but that's our view. Quite full, it's time to head on. It's so convenient to have a guide with us all day because we don't have a scooter in India and hopping into a grab in these more remote places is not always super easy. And we came across another Vista point here. In fact, it's not even a real Vista point. We just stop wherever it's safe and it just doesn't stop all around you. This is how it looks like. It's magic. It's so beautiful. I could film these tea plantations forever. Mesmerizing is a word that comes close to the view of this, but it is so much more than that. Our guide always made sure to stop and explain to us interesting things on the road, which I really appreciate. Are you gonna pop it? Yeah. Should I do it? Yeah. Faster. Opala. Ah. <laughs> Oh no! Oh. Sorry, but I got the popping. No. <laughs> this one's tea leaf, okay? The tea leaf. This is a green tea. Mm -hmm. This is a green tea. This is, this is the tea leaf, six variety. Mm -hmm. Six variety mm -hmm. for the leaf type, mm -hmm. bold type, dust, then green tea, white tea. Mm -hmm. This is. Uh, just one, this cut, this piece now, mm -hmm. just eating the energy. This little part is supposed to be eaten for energy. Just this? Oh, yes, a little. Tastes like rum? No, but not tasty, but energy. <laughs> okay, not tasty, but it makes you energy. That's cool. <laughs> So I really wanted to see how the tea is actually being cut from the trees. And basically the way it works is that the employees have either a manual or automatic cutter machine and they then cut then the leaves from the trees, these ones, they then get put into bags. And on their head they have a little towel which is against the sun, but also doubles up as a little puffer for the bag with the leaves that they can then put onto their head as they carry it around if they wanted to. Otherwise they can just carry around the bag from tree to tree and their workplace to workplace. You are actually not allowed to enter the tea plantation by yourself when the women are working, for example, to ask to help them or cut some leaves by yourself. In fact, our guide has asked for permission for us to take some pictures and videos from the site, but entering is not allowed. The tea trees are being cut in a cycle of 15 days and a team basically oversees one specific area. A different area is being overseen by a different team and that's how it works. Every place we stop at with a tea plantation view, I am thinking that this is the highlight of the tour, but there is always more. Next stop on the tour is the top station and as the name suggests we are pretty high up right now. In fact, if the weather was a little bit worse, which I'm not asking for, we would have more clouds being actually on this level here, kind of as if we could touch them. 
The reason why you should come to the top station is because here you are actually allowed to walk between the tea fields and also there are lots and lots of roads and this place is huge so you will definitely get an opportunity to be completely by yourself and enjoy the quietness and have really amazing pictures. I think this place is actually perfect for a really nice long hike but there's nothing on the way here so take everything that you need with you and all around you, you will be surrounded with this beauty. With that, our one day guided exploration tour of Monar is coming to an end and we are heading uphill to our hotel just in time for sunset. If you ever want to have a really nice view on nature from your hotel or your accommodation where the views are insane and the prices are affordable, then Munar is totally the place to come. We managed to catch the sunset and our tour today was really, really good. I can highly recommend this guide and he was such a positive and smiley person. It just made the whole tour so much better. Mr. Sandil from Munar Info. Yes. Munar has been an amazing place to visit in the south of India. But there is so much more to Kerala. In the next episode, I will be exploring Kochi, the capital of Kerala. Make sure to subscribe to not miss out on it and I will see you in my next one.